Hey friends, so today we are in just outside of St. Louis and we're at our buddy, this is JR, my buddy JR and there's Angel and we're checking out his new house that he bought and this is the pantry. This is what, what pays off this truck. <laughs> and you're doing money. Yeah, this is a paycheck. Right. Yeah. This is your hour. Oh. Yeah, we need to do that all the time. Yeah, hey. <laughs> This is a beautiful house. So we're just outside of uh, St. Louis. Remember I told you guys we went out to get off our fence? Oh wow, look at the deck. Look at how beautiful this deck is, wow. Yeah. So that's the backyard. It's actually a nice part of you get a lot of birds and stuff back here. I know, look how beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> what happened, baby? <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. You go on the down from the inside. I didn't have to put the stairs. Good area to watch. Well, eventually we're gonna add some steps to go down to the bottom bottom floor, but we just you weren't sure. So here's your your internet and your yeah, table. Well, if we had it, and the air conditioner's so on. I paid for all this. I paid for all these specialty connectors. Oh, wow. Or you want to get your freak on in front of the fireplace. Well. <laughs> Turn it off, I think it's really warm. Yeah, but you got the air conditioner running at all times in here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing, it's a, it's a top of line high efficiency unit, you know, so it keeps everything regulated. Hmm. And there's a, I'll show you when we go downstairs, there's a humidifier in the house, and a, this is the downstairs bathroom, a little small. What's weird, I used a Scentsy in here one time, and you can still smell it. Yeah. Is yeah, we have to ask me. Yeah. yeah, it's been empty for about three weeks. You, you guys did stay here for a while though, right? Yeah, about four, four months. Four months. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is Lee's bathroom. This is Lee's bathroom? Mm -hmm. This is, this bathroom is too small. Yeah, <laughs> you like the other one. Here's Lee's bathroom. <clears throat> I had to touch up all the fucking paint to get throwing shit in here. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's a nice room. Bless you, baby. Oh, and all the houses wire with separate switches. So, for instance, if you want just the light on, you can turn just the light on. If you want just the fan on, you can turn just the fan on. Yeah, we need to no, switch. <clears throat> in our house, that's what we need to do. We need to switch out um, or a couple of the fans. The game room. Yeah. He was like, I'll live in the closet. Wow. <laughs> yeah, look at how big this closet is. Right? Yeah. That's we were cool. using this as an office. So here's, here's the wiring. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Here's the and everything under the So the idea was that if you Are you a gamer? Camera, yeah. <laughs> Are no. you a serious gamer? <laughs> There's the washer and dryer. And, uh, so, so, so what did you do with the wiring? You set it up, what? Uh, it's all set up to where every single room has coax. It's all internally wired. Yeah, but you had coax, that. Yeah, it's extra. Yeah. And this is like. Take this home and load it on the truck. This is the whole house vacuum system. You just plug in your, your vacuum right here. Oh, nice. So it works like this. You just take the, take the vacuum right here. What the heck is that? It's a whole house vacuum system. You plug it into the wall, then you want What? I've never seen that before. Plug this in. It actually works pretty good too. I'm pretty proud. Up here on the carpet, it was great. Up What'd that cost? Uh, not as much as you might think when you, bought, when you build it into the house. 
when you um when you want to add it, it's super expensive. I think I don't even have the operator the same thing. There we go. And then maybe. There we go. So it all goes through the house and out the garage for that big silver cylinder. Uh -huh. It's got a filter built in and it sucks it all out of the garage. Crazy. So that's one of the features that comes with this house that you wouldn't normally get with a regular house. We built this house to stay here for the next 20 years. Like wow. we, didn't, we didn't build this house to leave. Um, the only reason we're leaving really is the high speed. And even if there was, right now with all the shooting had to go through and hit the high speed, I don't know that we would jump right back to the up. Like for Lee and I, it's upset us so much. This is my room. Yeah, this. I played the game vanilla so it's hard. So this is the master. Beautiful this house. Oh, this is a perfect house. Yeah. I actually fit in there pretty comfortably. This is the other closet in here. That's what we're getting in the house, baby. This is what we're going to get in the house. It's super comfortable. You can, you can this is a closet? This is a deal. Like when you want to wash your feet. That's a closet. You can just sit down on the little bench. Oh, okay. wow. And you can just wash your feet while you're in here if you don't fall over. Mm -hmm. So, I was going to put one of those, like, I was one on here. And that was part of it. And the tub is big enough where I can fit in there myself, which is great. And yeah. then, of course, the private pooping room. Oh, awesome. Oh, oh Lord. When I spoke with Miranda, I was like, you know what you want in the house? It's going to be nicer than this one. And she was like, well, it's not down here. So okay, this is the basement. Of course, in Arizona, we don't have basements. So, this is the line for the outside irrigation system wow. that we added. So, this is all of us. Uh huh. And then this is the data com. So, all the wires that you don't normally want to have run all over your damn house, they all run down here. Right. So, when you when you when you if you have high speed, you would just put you'd actually put a wooden board up against this wall, and then you would actually run all your cabling and stuff through your router and everything right here in the basement. Wow. So that way it's not anywhere else in the house. So it keeps everything looking real nice and clean. And then of course we're going to do a, a storage rack here on this side. Mm -hmm. And then put a door right here. So that this area right here. So from here should be a door. So when you walk in you got your holiday storage stuff over there. You got your data count stuff over here. You got your water supply and sump pump and all that. And then you just turn it off when you don't want people to see what's over there. Wow, this so, is beautiful, man. Down here, we're going to do another set of, we're going to do two sets of French doors. One here, where the framing is, and one here to replace the sliding glass door. And the idea was, we wanted to entertain instead of having to have to go upstairs in our house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just open up the French doors on both sides and just leave it as an open veranda kind of thing. Uh -huh. So, and then pave the concrete out a little bit. Yeah. Where we do, instead of having just one pan. And uh, that way you can just have people out. People can just walk around the side of your house instead of. Um, <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. So we're in. Where are we on? Wentzville? We're in Wentzville. And uh, this is. We're in Missouri. So it's. Not too far from uh, St. Louis. St. Louis, and he actually lives. Well, this is Winsville, but um, which is not far from uh, St. Charles, Missouri. Because really, if you notice on this side, nobody cut up any fences because it backs into the woods. Yeah. It's freaking beautiful here. It is so gorgeous. And then you got you got woods in the back right here. They got ticks in the woods. And then they actually spray all the wine workers inside the house. So they put a pressurized system. They put a pressurized uh, pump to this thing. And it runs to the truck out front, and they just pump all the chemical into the wall itself. So instead of having um, bugs spray all over the house, or your kids right. or your dogs could get sick. 
It's all inside the wall. Wow, that's pretty cool. So it keeps them out of the house. And what is this right here? The bathroom? This is the fireplace on the outside. Oh, that's it's the, the fireplace. fireplace. So it's got a vent somewhere. Ah, there's the vent. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Which is the only downside. As we're, as I look at this now that it's built, I'm kind of going, we really should have done a deck that went all the way to the side and x made the fireplace. That would have been cool. And then had concrete underneath it, so you kind of had just a shaded deck area. I don't know. I think... I think I, I would have to stay here. Yeah, it's beautiful. No, I, I own back of the tree line. That's it. Every, everything else, nothing will ever get built like this. Hey, they, do they have ticks in the woods? Ticks. Wood ticks. ticks. Missouri, man. What? Yeah, oh, I'm not. Fucking no, no, no. I'm not going out there. Yeah, I, I don't like ticks. All sorts of shit that'll, that'll grow on you. Literally. I'd love to go in the woods, though. In the spring and the fall, when we moved in in the fall, you see all the birds that are flying around back there? Yeah. All this ground cover hadn't grown in yet. So you could see all the way, there's a hill over there, so it drops down, mm -hmm. and it hits like a small runoff, and then it goes back up on the other side. And you'd like, have birds, you had cardinals. This spring we had cardinals, last year in the fall we had bluebirds. Oh, bad. Like really beautiful bluebirds. Nice. So we were thinking about putting, in all these trees that are close to our property, we thought about putting bird feeders in all of them. So you could so they'd get they'd come closer to the property line. Mm -hmm. You know? Maybe a hummingbird feeder up on the deck. Okay. Yeah, just somewhere nice to sit. Nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good fit. And the neighbors, like I said, the neighbors are a good fit for us too. It's just one of those things where um Yeah, I can't live somewhere without high street. Yeah. No. And what's worse is that McBride had every opportunity to make it right for us and they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Especially after all the wiring you put in this house. Dude, there's another eight, uh, on top of the 206 we paid to build the house, there's another $8,000 worth of upgrade. Just like, the irrigation was like 2600 bucks. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be here to water the grass, it just waters itself. <laughs> so there's a, there's, a, there's a Bluetooth uh, wireless sensor that communicates to the system over here on this side of the house. Mm -hmm. And tells it what it, needs to, what it needs to be watered. And it just kicks on and does its own thing. Yeah. That's a truck driver's life right there. Basically. That take care of itself so you don't have to. That's nice. Yeah. I mean, we have joked about living with, a, living with someone else for a long time. We're like, you know, we just had someone else to pay part of our house, you know, part of the cost of the house. It'd be a lot easier for us because we're going to. Ooh, it's hot here. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so we were just sh sharing a, um, our uh, video of. Of being with our friend JR and his new house that he bought. There's a little, here's the air conditioner. And he ended up buying it, but <clears throat> there's a few problems he, he had with it, so he doesn't, he's now selling it. Actually, gonna make some profit off of it. So, anyway, so that's it for now. And uh, please, uh, um, subscribe to our channel which is trucking with johnny and angel thanks guys bye and it's hot here by the way it's about 90 degrees and i don't know what the humidity is but it's hot bye mm -hmm.